find our guest is here on Week of Nigeria this morning, yes, Dami Lola is. Oke, also known as Madam Modish. She is a fashion and style consultant who provides personal styling and wardrobe direction for clients with a fierce and modish brand. Yes, mm -hmm. she is the author of the first fashion and style book in Nigeria called Modish Maxims, a set of style rules, and we will be finding out more from her today. Hey, B. Hi. How are you, How doing? you doing? I'm okay. It's Damlola okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's usually either okay or okay. okay. No. So yours okay. is okay. I don't want my dad to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to correct that. <laughs> I can imagine. It, it's so good to have you here. Mm. Madam Modish, uh, the brand has actually spanned quite a number of years. Yes, it has. And its success story is also well known. However, wow. for many people, it's usually a case of how did it all begin? But I'm not going to ask you how it all began. I'm just going to ask you, first off, the biggest challenge you had starting this brand. Hmm. So we're 10 years this year. Oh, Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Um, when I started in two th 2013. 2013. It feels like a long time ago. Yes. All right. Um, we were like five that we stylists. Mm. You know, so... It was hard trying to convince people to pay me to dress them. Mm. It was almost like, ah, I don't understand. I can dress myself. And I'm like, no, the colors, the style direction based on your skin tone, your height, your weight, where you're going, what you want to portray are all important. So you need to hire me. So I think that's the biggest challenge. Trying, trying to make people understand that it's actually a professional role, like law, like engineering, mm -hmm. you know, like medicine. It's mm. not a hobby. It's actually a craft. Mm -hmm. And it's spiritual. I always say it's spiritual because, okay. you know, we do things before anyone does them. And then when it comes out as a trend, everyone is like, oh, I saw you wear that three mm -hmm. years ago. And I I'm like, I know. Yes. It. So you eat, breathe, dance, laugh, styling. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think the biggest challenge is trying to make people, even brands, mm -hmm. try to understand that, you know, there are departments where used to just go into the market themselves, mm -hmm. buying the fabric and sewing it. They never thought they could need a mood board, you know, but now everyone asks for a mood board. Mm. Once they give you a, a job, they just send your mood board so we'll see the looks. Mm. Mm. So it's nice to know that has happened now. Yeah. Now you're talk, talking about, you know, having a mood board. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about the process from conceptualizing the idea to execution. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk to us about the process for, for example, if, you'd like to, if you want to style a Mary now mm. for the show. First of all, she needs to pay me. Well, yeah. <laughs> styling is luxury. <laughs> I always tell people styling is luxury because yeah. we demystify the entire person. So mm -hmm. for me, I have a, I used to meet them in person before the lockdown. Okay. But when the, when COVID hit, I then, you know, but sort of turned it into a, yeah. um, what's it called? A, a questionnaire. Okay. So it's a 10 question questionnaire. Okay. So where have you been? Where are you now? And where are you going? Because I can never know you well until you let me know you. Mm. So based on the responses from the 10 questions, then I use that to sort of figure out what to do with you. People have different things they want to do. Some birthday shoots, some professional headshots, mm. some um, just glam photo shoots. Um, some they are appointed. I've, I've been in a situation where a brand appointed a new boss and she needed like proper mm -hmm. shots that would portray mm -hmm. her. So there's no the same job. Mm -hmm. They're different kinds of, so if it was her, I would say, okay, she works here. This is her skin tone. Let me go dark. Let me go this, let me go that. You know what I mean? The hairstyle and it's head to toe. It's not just the, the outfit. Mm -hmm. Everything has to work in tandem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that it can all come. So it's a whole process that comes from the questionnaire to the consultation, to pulling the actual clothes, to fitting them, mm. to then styling. I always tell people styling is the icing on the cake. A lot has gone down, down yeah. before you style. Yeah. Styling is the last hurdle. Yeah. Even getting the right designer is, is a whole job. I was coming It's a there. whole job. I was getting there. I was <laughs> hoping that you were, going to, you were going to you know, mention that. It's a whole them. job. Because um, I have heard, or I've heard a lot of other stylists mm -hmm. talk about you know, how they've had to leverage or partner with other fashion brands yeah. to, you know, you know, get to where they are, they are. Right now. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about, you know, your partnership mm -hmm. with other fashion designers. Mm -hmm. I mean, since when you started yeah. to 
where you are right now? Yeah. Is it still the same partnership? Is it mm. still the same relationship? Mm. Has anything changed? Let talk to us about the dynamic. Mm. You know, the dynamic shift or the dynamism that's happened within you know that space and between yeah. that relationship. I mean, it's hard. Um, it's hard because I'm the middleman. Mm. I have to manage the client. I have to manage the designer. Yeah. Um, and it's hard because um, the people that I started working with when I started have become very big now. So you cannot be letting free clothes anymore. <laughs> so I've, I've never been one to actually ask for free clothing. Oh, you always pay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, even if we don't pay for the garments, we would make clothes with you so that at least you have... That's the thing with, with Nollywood and Hollywood or with like the Western space and this space. We need to come to the realization that nothing really goes for free. And I think exactly. it's my vice chancellor in school that made me understand that, mm. Bishop, Franz, um, Bishop um, David Oedipo. He would say, there's no free lunch in life. He'll repeat it like five times. Mm. So even if I'm not paying for the outfit, I will make something tomorrow so that when I come back another day, you can be you open feel, yeah, to me. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, for menswear, this, my people are still my people. But then obviously new people come along mm -hmm. and, you know, we form bonds. But I'll still say that the devil, you know, it's better, better than you don't, you don't know. Because now in the age of Instagram, you see things online and you're like, oh, I want that. And then it comes and the fabric is completely wrong. Mm. The fit is off and your client is all the way in LA and you're in Nigeria. The designer is in Abuja and you guys are just bickering. Mm. I always tell people that you've not done your job until the client is happy. Mm. And I say that to myself as well. Mm. Sometimes I've done my job to the best of my ability. But if the client is not happy, I failed. Mm. And I need to come to the realiza realization that until I see a smile, that's why I ask them on set, are you happy? Mm. I ask them a lot of times. So they tell mm. me, um, I'm like, what do you need? Mm. Because I need that satisfaction at least 90 percent of the time for me to sleep well at night but designers just want to make money i'm very curious yeah. about something but before i ask you about this i know on on screen now are some Looks. folks you've uh, styled <laughs> yeah so this started from you meeting them of course getting to know them and uh, running through the usual process mm -hmm. uh, so could you tell us uh, about some of these styles um so we do that the field of styling is Variant. Yeah. So there's the costume design, which is mm -hmm. film production. Mm -hmm. There's TV commercials, mm -hmm. which is adverts. There's personal styling, which is the ones I told you about. So they're like family. So every day they go out, I have to dress them. Mm. Um, there's music videos. There's different things. There's different things. So depending on the kind of job it is, um, you get to meet people. Mm -hmm. When I started my business, I met Folu Storms. Um, she was working at a television production company and they had hired me for something else. Mm. And then she saw me, she's like, no, you have to be my stylist. Mm. So sometimes because of the job, then you, you meet people. And then before you know it, you guys it's form a bond. Yeah. But I pick my clients half the time mm. because I don't dress like everyone. Mm. Happily so, mm. I do not dress mm. like everyone. Mm. So I don't expect my clients to dress like everyone. So yeah. if you're a commercial person who likes to dress like everyone, it won't really work together well. Mm. I can do it once or twice because of the money, but at some point, my art is going to be telling me, you're not supposed to be here. Move. I think I've heard you mention money four times now. <laughs> and so it's made me really curious. On average, what's the new... what, is, what, what is it like to get Madame Modish to style To dress someone? you. Um, are we allowed to say that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Go, sure. Ahead. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. But like I said, there are three stages. I so you have mean. to pay for consultation. Oh, pay for consultation. Of course. How much is consultation? If you go to the hospital you know and you feel... Ca you don't go pay for card. No. <laughs> yeah, or you have an HMO. How much is consultation? There. So men's wear is different from women's wear. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Women's wear because we are both women here. <laughs> No, let, let her give us both. How much is it for consultation for So men? I'm not going to say figures, but I'm going to say that give men's wear, estimate. yes. So men's wear is double the price of women's wear okay. for consultation. And so what range should we be looking at? Like someone um, watching and like, can I afford that? Yeah. Let's see. I mean, for one look, a quarter of half a million. But for, for more... consultation? No, no, no. The whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But for more than one look from half a million. Okay. Now. Because obviously everyone knows that things have changed now. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say I didn't change my prices until we became 10. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I feel like I've earned my, my value. Mm. Yeah. So at this point, you know, it's okay. If you can't pay, 
keep it moving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about what makes you unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been in the space for 10 years. Yes. And we've had a lot of emerging stylists. Mm -hmm. Everybody coming up with their own craft, with their own, you know, um, uniqueness. Mm -hmm. You know, what has made you unique still, I mean, and still relevant in this space? Um, unique, I'd say art. Because for me, my mantra is art over everything. Mm. If you don't look like art, ugh, no. So when I, I say art, art, yes, of course. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Um, so art for me is abstract, is beautiful, is dynamic, is different. It disrupts you. You stop and look back. You know, when I walked in, MM said, are those boots? And I said, yes. Yeah. So you must, it must have talk value. Yeah. That's the first thing. Making me relevant, I think I've, I've constantly evolved. Mm. So if people have moved on from, there was a time I dressed people with a lot of jewelry. Mm. I don't do that anymore because people have moved on. Yeah. So I try to evolve with the time, time yeah. as well. Okay, Just so um, conversation. we we usually offer breakfast oh. free. Yeah, uh, but we we're gonna charge because of course everything is in life. It's, it's not for free. It's, it's not for free. The, the Styling is, free. is luxury. We are going to give you <laughs> breakfast. Uh, uh, we, we are not going to charge you a quarter of uh, a you million. Sure. So we are not. It's not it's besides the styling. We you just you just pay for it. <laughs> By... Yes, you're right. Yes, that's that's style style of... But MM, you have a ready to ever like you know that they call no, you for that money. To you. Style your client. Oh yeah, yeah. So ah. that, that's just that's all the payment. So as you said, nothing in life is free. No, no, no. So there's no free lunch in life. And then, yes, you have free breakfast. No, there's no free. It's not free breakfast. No... You feed, you style. <laughs> so we're heading to the kitchen now. I'm looking breakfast. forward. <laughs>